Good morning. It's about 9.30 in the morning, and I have been going since sunrise. This is prepared rosebud smoker wood. I've got it in little grill chips. I'll show you what I'm using to make that in a little bit. These are for the little boxes you throw in your grill. Smoker, uh, three-pound bags, six ounces. I've... Uh, been using my little Amazon scale. Uh, I've got a bag of pecan wood, three pound and one pound. These are for grill boxes as well, just different uh, cuts on them. This is the piece that broke on my log splitter. They sent me three pieces after they ran the model number. I only needed this piece. The other two pieces go to something else. Use those a whole lot. This will be more of the red bud. Now, for the big job that I've got coming up, I ordered a, a new gas chainsaw from Amazon. It won't start. My ground man's a better mechanic than I am. Whenever I split the smoker wood, that's what I used after I've cut it up. Now, let's walk back here. The pecan wood's fresh, uh, so those bags aren't sealed. I'm using my burn pit uh, to contain the leaves, but this right here is going to be a game changer. It's the first of at least three chipper shredders, maybe four that I'll have. This is a small one from Harbor Freight. It's what I used to turn the smaller red bud into the chips for the smoker box. I can run all of those leaves through it and get mulch. I've still got a bunch of red bud to cut up and split. Um, got more up there in that box. I had to wash it off. Uh, my useless cypress wood. But let's go back here and look at the oak piles I've been making. I've been cutting it up into 16 inch. Uh, got a large amount. Got a big pile to cut up there. That to cut up. All of this is going to get used one way or another. This is already the oddball stuff. I think I'm going to start stocking it in my little trailer there as I cut it. It's a little too early for me to be cutting wood out here. The world's asleep. These are the big pieces from six massive oak trees. There's actually a pile of them underneath that too. Uh, but I will have 16 inch ricks and probably 12 inch and then smaller stuff for chimeneas and burn pits. Uh, all of this will get mulched. Uh, the bark becomes kindling for the fireplace and fire pits. Then I ended up with a little bit of pine. He was cutting the trees down and I said throw it in and I picked it out as I unloaded. I'll just cut that up for my little burn pit or something. Uh, you can't use that in a fireplace. But uh, yeah been working my tail off and we're getting ready to go look at uh, new properties for me to build a new work site and home. So, uh, woohoo, y'all have a great morning.